Hello, today's daily reading comes from the book of the Apocrypha, and we are reading from the book of 1 Esdras chapter 9, and it reads as follows. Then Esdras, rising from the court of the temple, went to the chamber of Jonas, the son of Eliezer, and lodged there, and did eat no bread nor drink water, mourning for the great iniquities of the multitude. And there was made proclamation in all Jewry and Jerusalem to all those who were of the captivity, that they should be gathered together at Jerusalem, and that whoever met not there within two or three days, according as the elders that bear rule appointed, their cattle should be seized to the use of the temple, and himself cast out from the multitude of those who were of the captivity. And in three days were they all they of the tribe of Judah and Benjamin gathered together at Jerusalem. <clears throat> this was the ninth month on the twentieth day of the month. And all the multitudes sat together trembling in the broad place before the temple because of the present foul weather. So Edris arose up and said to them, You have transgressed the law and married strange wives to increase the sins of Israel, and now make confession and give glory to the Lord, the God of our fathers, and do his will, and separate yourselves from the heathen of the land and from the strange women. Then cried the whole multitude and said with a loud voice, just as you have spoken, so will we do. But for as much as the multitude is great and it is foul weather so that we can't stand without, and this is not a work of one day or two, seeing our sin in these things is spread far. Therefore let the rulers of the multitude stay and let all them of our inhabitants that have strange wives come at their time appointed. And with them the rulers and judges of every place until we turn away the wrath of the Lord from us from this matter. Then Jonathan, the son of Azael, and Ezekias, the son of Thaconis, accordingly took the matter upon them. And Mosalamus and Levi's and Sabbatius were assessors of, to them. And those who were of the captivity did according to all these things. And Esdras the priest chose to him principal men of their families all by name, and on the new moon of the tenth month they were shut in together to examine the matter. Their cause that held strange wives was brought to an end by the new moon of the month, first month, and of the priests that were come together, and had strange wives there were found, of the sons of Jesus, the son of Josedek, and his kindred Matthias, and Eleazar, and Jorabus, and Jodanus. And they gave their hands to put away their wives and to offer rams to make reconciliation for the error. And of the sons of Emmer and Ananias and Zabdeus and Manus and Samias and Hiriel and Manes and Samias and Hiriel and Azarius, and of the sons of Fazir, Eleonas, Messias, Ishmael and Nathaniel and Osadelus and Seleus, and the Levites, Josephus, and Simias, and Callias, who was called Kaledus, Kaledus, and Pathias, and Judas, and Jonas, of the holy singers, Elizabeth, Bacchus, of the gatekeepers, Salamus, and Tobanes, of Israel, of the sons of Phoros, Hermas, and Idios, and Melchias, and Malus, and Eleazar, and Azabas, and Baneus, of the sons of Ella, Mathanias, Zacharias, and Jezreelus, and Ob Obdias, and Hiramoth, and Adias, and of the sons of Zamoth, Eladas, Elazamias, Othanias, Jeremoth, and Sabathus, and Zardias, one of the sons of Babai, Joannes, and Ananias, and Jobus, and Amethias. Of the sons of Mani, Olamas, Makamukas, Jadius, Jesubas, and Jesusalus, and Hiramoth, and of the sons of Adai, Nathus, and Mosias, Lacunus, and Natus, and Mathanias, and Sestel, Balnus, and Manassias, and the sons of Annas, Elianus, and Asius, and Melchias, and Sabias, and Simon Cosimaeus, and of the sons of Asum, Mountaneus, and Matthias, and Sabanius, and Eliphalat, and Manassius, and Simai, 
and of the sons of Benai, Jeremiah, Momdi, Iscamiris, Jewel, Mumdai, and Padius, and Anus, Carabasian, and Enciabus, and Mamanatamius, Elias, Banus, Eli, Samaes, Salamias, Nathanius, and the sons of Azor, Sasis, Israel, Azilus, Sematis, Zambri, Josephus, and of the sons of Numa, Mesitus, Zedadius, Edos, Jewel, Benanias, all of these had taken strange wives, and they put them away with their children. And the priests and Levites and those who were of Israel lived in Jerusalem and in the country of the new moon of the seventh month, and the children of Israel in their habitations. And the whole multitude were gathered together with one accord into the broad place before the porch of the temple toward the east. And they said to Esdras the priest and reader, Bring the law of Moses that was given to the Lord, the God of Israel. So Esdras the chief priest brought the law to the whole multitude, both of men and women, and to all the priests, to hear the law on the new moon on the seventh month. And he read in the broad place before the porch of the temple from morning to midday, before both men and women and all the multitude gave heed to the law. And Esdras the priest, the reader of the law, stood up upon the pulpit of wood, which was made for that purpose. And there stood up by him Matthias, Samus, Azinus, Azarius, Urias, Ezekias, Balamus, upon his hand and upon his left hand, Faldius, Misael, Melchias, Lothopsabas, Nabarius, Zacharias, then took Esdras the book of the law before the multitude and sat honorably in the first place before all. And when he opened the law, they stood all straight up. So Esdras blessed the Lord God most high, the God of armies almighty. And all the people answered, Amen, and lifting up their hands, they fell to the ground and worshiped the Lord. Also Jesus, Annas, Sabarius, Idodemus, Jacobus, Sebateus, Ateus, Menanas, and Kalidas, Azarius, and Josephus, and Ananias, Phileas, the Levites taught the law of the Lord and read to the multitude the law of the Lord, making them withal to understand it. Then said Atherates to Esdras, the chief priest and reader, and to the Levites that taught the multitude, even to all, this day is holy to the Lord. Now they all wept when they heard the law. Go then and eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions to those who have nothing. For the day is holy to the Lord and be not sorrowful for the Lord will bring you to honor. So the Levites published all things to the people saying, this day is holy, be not sorrowful. Then they went their merry way, their way, everyone to eat and drink and make merry and to Give portions to those who had nothing and to make great cheer, because they understood the words wherein they were instructed, and for the which for the which they had been assembled. Amen.